Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second part of our uncut risk gameplay. Today, we will be finishing up the game. However, this will be a shorter episode, as I am currently working on a Civilization VI video to be released tomorrow, which should hopefully be a lot of fun. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video, though it will be important anyway. Enjoy the video. All right, you goddamn babies, are you finally ready to end this game in another Hillary Clinton victory so I can go and tweet about it to my millions of fans around the world? Will you shut your child predator looking ass up already? The only reason you are even here is so I can enjoy kicking your ass out of this discord forever and then turn around and ban whoever invited you. The fact you haven't been locked up yet is nothing short of a crime against humanity that even I admit I should be in prison for not pushing hard enough to get you the fucking chair. So sit your ass down and watch the lads and I kick your ass. All right, Donald, let's fucking do this. Let's exile this Clinton from our server. We are with you. I'm going to take over northern Canada since nobody else seems to remember it exists, just like the Canadian government in real life forgets to protect its own people. And in all honesty, this map is probably just a simplification to the shitstorm that is Canadian life right now under the blackface racist guy that is their goofy uh, prime minister. I fucking heard that you goddamn monk. Oh shit, is this on video? Him. Excuse me, my kind sir, would you please refrain from speaking against the government of Canada? I mean, really, it is against the wishes of me. Wait, I mean the nation and its people to use this silly concept of free speech. So would you please be so kind to sit down and speak only nicely of me and my government? Jesus, we are just letting in any shitty politician, aren't we now? Justin, you racist, anti-democratic son of a bitch, even I know you are worse than Donald at everything. So get your sorry ass and leave this chat before I invade Canada and burn down the parliament building, you fucking twat. Joe, I have never been more proud of you in my entire life. Then right there, I feel like a father watching his kid ride a bike on his own for the first time you earned some ice cream after we curb stomp Hillary into the dust. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Let me take this really quickly. Obama, is that you? Thank God. Listen, I don't have much time. Hillary's in the other room, but I have to warn you guys. The rumors are true. We found the reason she was so good at risk in her emails, as well as the Jeffrey Epstein flight logbook and you guys have to know before it is too late. Wait, what do you mean what is happening? Oh shit, she is coming over, I gotta be fast. So you know how that guy beat Magnus Carlsen in the game of chess? Yeah, what about it? Well, she is the guy who is beating Magnus Carlsen in this case, and that is why she's so good. She's using the same tools and uh, vibrations to win the game she plays. I don't know who is controlling it, but she is playing like a god. I gotta go now. Here she comes. Guys, guys, what are we gonna do? Hillary took control over all of the United States at this point. How the fuck are we going to clutch this back up, considering she now has the largest bonus on the entire map, and we have like two turns left in the entire game to make a comeback? Maybe I could be of assistance? God, no. I would rather Joe Biden be president for the rest of his life, all 20 seconds of it, than let you even speak again. So shut your goddamn face. Nobody likes you, Ethan. My name isn't Ethan, guys. Stop being mean. Shut the fuck up, Kevin. You are more useless than Kevin Hart in every action movie he has ever been in. God, I would rather watch every episode of James Corden's show twice before even listening to you speak again. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, ignoring that useless sack of shit plaguing our voice chat with the mere idea of his existence, we do need to focus on beating Hillary. I don't know how. But she is playing really well, and we are in some deep shit here. We may have an issue because she is, in fact, cheating. She is using... Uh, how do I put this without getting this video taken down? Oh, I got it internal vibrations to know what moves to make with someone else using those signals to communicate the moves she needs to make to win and beat us. I don't know how we can even win, so I think honestly we should just save ourselves the embarrassment and throw in the towel now. We will not, we will not surrender, we won't give in easily. What are you talking about, Donald? We don't really have much of a choice. There is always a choice, my friends. Now are we going to sit here and wallow in our defeat and accept living on our knees? to the cruel tyrant that rules over Satan? Or are we going to rise to the challenge and show this whore who is boss? My friends, this is our time to rise up and show the world that the presidents of the United States can and will beat the shit out of any woman who is slightly annoying to us. Donald, where do you keep getting these costumes? Fuck it, what do we have to lose? I am with you, Donald. Together we will lead each other through our friendship into a glorious defeat where we fall standing, giving it our all, or come out at the other end as victors. Together into the jaws of death, my friends, we must slay this witch before she can suck more blood out of little children to extend her own life. Fuck it, lads, together forever. So what is the plan? 
The plan is simple. I shall use my bonus armies to storm her defenses and overwhelm the devil herself, which will buy us some time to regroup and keep up the attacks. Sadly, that does mean I will have to take some of the lands. You guys have to give me enough of a buffer zone to ensure that I can win the battle at the end, so I am sorry, Bush and Obama. But if one of us has to win, then it has to be the greatest of the ones among us. Donald, you goddamn idiot. You could have taken Idaho. You went the wrong way. Now we are fucked already. As much as I am inclined to believe you, I have to admit that it is too late for us. I just realized it is turn five, and there is no way I was going to gain 20 provinces in one turn to win the game. So honestly, throwing the bone to Donald to allow him to win over Hillary is much better than an ensured Hillary victory, so just stick together, Bush, and we can still clutch this up for the boys. We have to do it, or one of us is going to be banned. I forgot about the ban, guys. What the hell? Why did we agree to this? Oh, God, I am too young to die. First of all, no, you are not honestly. You should have turned to ash several million years ago, but I digress because nobody's going to get banned. We're going to get through this together, for we are none other than Team Trump. Well, that was a cute little speech, Donald. Maybe if you had been this nice to literally anyone in the country, you would have beaten Sleepy Joe in the 2020 election. But whatever, I can still defeat you now. Say goodbye to all of the progress you made and say hello to the Hillary Clinton 2023 Stronger Together campaign, you old sacks of shit. I bet you don't even play Pokemon. Go and dab with the fellow kids. Speak again, and I will publish the Epstein flight log book on WikiLeaks, you Clintonite sack of shit. Now sit down, you hag. Wait, don't publish those logs, Donald. Wait, uh, I mean, yeah, you tell her, Donald. Jesus Christ, Joe, not again. Get off the horse. You ruined the mood. Guys, what are we going to do? She has 30 whole provinces. There is no way I or Obama can, in a single turn, take that many provinces away from her that she can lose now. Even if we were on just one team, we would be in some deep shit here because of how many provinces she has. I think maybe if Obama can score enough damage on his turn, he can win the entire event. But because of how far most of my troops are all the way in the Greenland looking area, I think my best best is just to do what I can up here and then pray for the best because we might be doomed here, Donald. What are we going to do? Don't worry, guys. I have a contingency plan just in case things go south here. Never thought I would see the day I was glad and proud of Sleepy Joe. There is nothing you old assholes can do now. You are doomed to banishment. I have 30 whole provinces, and you have almost nothing. I am your god. I can choose who lives and dies, and I rule this entire server. Say goodbye, Sleepy Joe, for you are banished forever from this Discord server, never to return under punishment of death. Ha, 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 I win. I finally beat you clowns in this, and now you shall forever be subservient to me. Bow to your new god. Bow to your new god now. Wait, can we cut a deal instead of banning Joe? No, Bush, don't do it. Don't make a deal with the devil. You should know all deals made with the devil are done in the blood of the innocent. Bush, don't give in. My time has come. I will return someday for you, my friends. Well, I suppose we could trade a ban for a ban instead. Tell you what, you let me unban one person from this server, and I will accept it as compensation for not banning Joe. Fine, sure, whatever. Just don't hurt Joe. He is too innocent to die. Then we are done here, and my work here is done. Good night, gentlemen. I hope to see you all in hell soon. Wait, we have only ever banned two people from this server. That Prime Minister Canada guy, who she probably didn't unban since he hasn't ruined our lives with his mere existence yet, and, oh, oh, God, no. What have you done, Bush? Hello again, old friends.